everyone, I'm Melody. And I'm Anthony. We've got some fascinating stuff lined up for you on this episode. Uh, we spent quite a bit of time on the show talking about Sony's current products, you know, what's out now, what's coming very soon. But this time we're going to focus on emerging technologies and find out who's behind new innovations at Sony. Right, so you know how automakers like to show off their concept cars? Well, electronic brands do the same thing. Uh, it's a really good way to get a peek into what their research teams are developing. And here's a really good example. Check out this video of what Sony calls their Ray Modeler. This is a 360 degree auto stereoscopic 3D display prototype that allows you to see color images from every angle. The left and right eyes are actually seeing different images, giving viewers a sense of depth so that objects like faces and people appear super realistic. And if you were lucky enough to attend some of the conferences where Sony showcased the Ray Modeler last year, you might have actually seen it up close. Man, I would have liked to have been at one of those conferences, but I couldn't go. I wish somebody would bring it from the secret Sony lab here to me. Oh look, hi. This is Joe from Sony's R&D department. <laughs> and he brought the Ray modeler, and this thing is crazy. Joe, thank you for coming. Uh, thank you very much. I am looking at this cartoon dog, and as I go like this, I am seeing it from different mm -hmm. angles. This is insane. I think I just want to run around the table so I can just see all the different angles. It looks so cool. Yeah, I mean, that's this, better. I mean, this is nuts. I mean, we're seeing this without glasses. How am I seeing this without glasses? Because actually, it's it's projecting, it's already projecting 360 pi different pictures to every angle. Okay. And then you have to wear the glasses. So it's it's doing 360 different pictures, one from, from each degree. Yes. And can you guys do animation with this too? Ah, uh, yeah, in the future. Cool. So how are, how are you making the content for this? Is it going to be easier to make content for this, or is it something special and difficult? If you talk about the CG, it's not that hard, but it's take, if you are talking about taking the real pictures, it's going to be kind of hard, because you need to prepare the several cameras and then uh, one object inside it, and then uh, we're gonna do the software things to prepare the virtual cameras. So it's kind of like motion capture software or like that effect in the matrix? Yes. Very cool. Close to it. Very cool. So I know that you have a couple different versions of the Ray modeler, because this is, this is an R&D product, so you guys are doing tons of prototypes, yes. right? And on one of them, you have hand tracking, right? So these like little dogs, as I uh, do yes. this, would move along with me. How does that work? Yeah, this one doesn't have, but the, our another prototype has uh, the IR sensor here, and then we can move, uh, we can track the hands and then rotate the object inside it. I see. What are the different uses that you're using it for? Uh, we are thinking about the kind of digital signage mm -hmm. and the, the medical yeah. applications mm -hmm. and uh, the, some other 360 view, uh, the video games. Dude, I would love to do some video games. Could you imagine a platformer on that? That would be, be so, so crazy. We actually have already have the the pongs. Pong game. No oh, way! Wow. That's not so today, cool. Though. Sorry. <laughs> so, what are the exact dimensions here of the Ray Modeler, and and can it get bigger? Can it get smaller? Yeah, we need uh, some kind of breakthrough to <laughs> make it a lot bigger or a lot smaller. But we are kind of uh, working on the bigger one, about this size. Yeah. Okay. So about the size of like this actual mm -hmm. pedestal that it's on. Wow. Yeah. You can put awesome. the the uh, one person's head, actual like, size. That would be so funny. <laughs> So there's, I'm seeing a lot of like anatomy being displayed on there. What's the most interesting thing that you've seen this being used for? Uh, actually, we have already exhibited this at the uh, Natural History uh, Museum in London mm. and the British Library also. Oh, wow. And we had uh, lots of uh, feedback from that. You know, it looks really crisp when we're seeing it right now, um, mm -hmm. but I, I believe the frame rates on the device and the, on the camera is different, so there might be a little bit of a flicker. That's but true. when we're looking at it in person, like the textures look so cool. Like that little bear guy, mm -hmm. he was all shiny, and then the little owls that, owls that you had, mm -hmm. they looked really soft. Yeah. It was really cool and crisp how the textures came yeah. to life on this thing. And I can, you know, you can sort of hear like a hum coming out of this now, and mm -hmm. I can tell something is, is spinning. How exactly is this working? Yeah, actually, it's rotating, like 1,800 rotates per minute. Wow, wow. that's and really then, fast. So, uh, and then why is the glasses here, I guess? Because uh, I don't want anyone to be chopped, the, the fingers. <laughs> to be chopped? <laughs> wow, it's going really fast, so if you put your finger in there, you're going to lose it. <laughs> that's funny, because the first thing I want to do, because it's 3D, is I want to touch it. Yeah. yeah. So I guess I would have lost a finger already. Yeah. So thank you for that. <laughs> yeah. Very cool. Well, Joe, thank you so much for coming out and for bringing the Ray Modeler here. This is amazing, man. Thank you very much.